Good morning, band members. Yeah. Mr. Rogers here once again with the Sonoral Elementary Bobcat Band. <laughs> if you got a chance to check out Mr. Dooley's trash bagpipes tutorial yesterday, what'd you think? It's pretty wild, isn't it? <laughs> hey, if you haven't had a chance, uh, if you are somebody who picked up your instrument uh, just this last week and you haven't had a chance to go through these videos, um, keep in mind you should be going back to the beginning all the way to the the band introduction depending on whether it's the Soulsbyville or the Falcon Band, the uh, Bobcat Band introduction. Start there and start with Hard Rock Blues if you're in fifth and sixth grade. Mr. Dooley starts off in the hundreds of essential elements. Him and I swap every now and then so just a reminder just to catch up if you're like just starting now. <laughs> you should go back to the first videos that we uploaded and start from there and catch up. Yeah, you'll be fine. So, um, uh, if you haven't had a chance to look back at my hand flute tutorial from last week, which is what I just did, go ahead and go back and find the hand flute video. It's fun stuff. Right. I got something different for you tomorrow as well. Anyway, we are in number 70, all the way to number 70, page 15 out of your Essential Elements 2000 book. We're gonna sight read this. This is going to be uh, sort of like a rhythm rap. We're gonna clap and use da's and ta's because you'll notice that throughout this whole exercise there are only quarter notes, all right? So we don't need tt's, so we're gonna use da's and ta's. Now, accents, those sideways v's attached to each of the notes, that's gonna tell you to articulate with ta instead of da. Your notes are still going to be long. Still hold out those quarter notes for a whole beat the only difference really is that the front end articulation and articulation is the way we pronounce music with our tongue. Sometimes da, sometimes ta, sometimes ah. If we're doing legato, we're just not using our tongue most of the time. Um, so look out for the rests. And is there a repeat sign? Yes, there is. So move your eyes back and forth from the last note you have. In fact, it's the last rest because you don't play on beat four on the last measure. You go back to the beginning after that. Okay, so you're going to do two times through. Now is the time for you to pause the video and sight read this on your own. Okay, I'm going to, this is about this tempo. So you're going to say ta da ta da while you clap as well. So go ahead and start sight reading that and pause the video right now. Did you clap and use the da's and the ta's? Let's do this together. From the beginning, we'll do it twice. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Ta da, ta da, ta da, ta da, ta ta ta, rest, ta ta ta, rest, da ta da ta, da ta da ta. Da ta ta rest. Da ta ta repeat. Ta da ta da ta da ta da ta 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 rest. Ta 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 rest. Da ta da ta da ta da ta da ta ta rest. Da ta ta rest. Okay, now the clapping and the da's and the ta's, we're gonna translate that to our instrument right now. I've got my saxophone here. And I have a story about the saxophone that I'm gonna tell you in the next video. The next video is gonna be titled Number 71, The Mexican Clapping Song, Chiapanecas. All right, so after this video, go on to the next one and I'll tell you the story of this instrument, okay? And I'll play some cool stuff for you on it. I'll have a surprise tune for you. It'll probably be in the title, but I'll tell you the story. So move on to the next video after this. We are going to play through this on a concert B flat. Okay. So that's the first note that you probably learned on your instrument for most of you. That would be on page five, number nine whatever note that is for you. So saxes, it's your G, 
low brass, bells, and flutes. It's B flat. That's what you're going to play on. French horn's going to be F. And we've got clarinets, tenor sax, trumpet. It's going to be on your C. Okay? If you're somebody who's a drummer who doesn't have uh, bells with them or a piano, I want you to play it on a practice pad, okay? And you're going to accent with higher stick heights, slightly higher, okay? Lower stick heights for the non-accented notes. And make sure you're alternating between the right and the left. Don't just stick with your right hand, you righties, or your left hand, you lefties. It's always going to be alternating. All right, here we go. Let's play through accents, okay? So it's ta, da, ta. One, two, ready, and. And there's the exercise. Accent your talent. Eh, pun intended on that tune. So, great job. If you need to work on the accents a little bit more, exaggerate the difference between the da's and the ta's. Try your best to sustain through the air. All right. I'll see you in a few more moments. It's going to be a Mexican clapping song coming up next. All right. Laters.